Okay, quick story that has me literally shaking right now. So for context, I drive trucks and I stop at this Denny's to grab a coffee because I'm addicted to caffeine. I went in there to get my coffee to go and then I walked to the bathroom, but as I'm walking to the bathroom, it's this old guy sitting to the left with about 12 people that's celebrating his 89th birthday. I got a call from my dispatcher and he was like, yo, you can chill, no rush, they are not ready for the freight so you can relax a little bit. Sat down, ordered some food, so now I'm sitting like across from the guy that's celebrating his birthday. Time goes by, I'm down there at the end of my meal and everybody that basically came to celebrate with him had left so now it's just him and his wife so as i get up to go wash my hands i see him and i give him a smile i'm like happy birthday young man 89 that's a lot of memory to have here's the thing i don't even know why i said that he could have had alzheimer's i don't i'm not even sure what i'm what i meant by that like but that's what i said and he said well I thank you young man and he smiled and he kind of just stared at me and I just walked back there and washed my fucking hands so I come back and his wife is gone she's talking to some other lady that goes to the same church they do and he sees me he says come here come here come here and I said yes and he said there are way too many things that I wish I could forget and I said yeah man you make it to damn near 100 years old I'm pretty sure you got a handful of regrets and he looked at me with the most serious look ever and said you have no idea well, now I'm curious, do tell. He said, you know, I used to be a firefighter through the 60s and 70s. I said, that's what's up. That's a very commendable job. And he said, yeah, it should be. He said the 60s and 70s was a different time in every way possible. You know that, right? And I'm just like, yeah, no shit. He said, back in those times, I was a way different man. And who knew that we'd get to the point where we are in society today and I'd be feeling the way I'm feeling about the decisions that I made back in those times. So I'm like, man, if you don't fucking tell me, bro. So right before he took a very long pause, he looked at me and said, back in those times, it was very common for firefighters that look like me to leave people that look like you in burning houses and buildings and horrible situations just to say they couldn't get to us. He said more times than he'd like to admit he would hear screaming black people and children in burning buildings and houses and apartments and stores and cars and he would literally just pretend he didn't hear it. He said his last time doing it was when he made eye contact with the baby that he deliberately went into a building to save and deliberately didn't and he said that was the last time he did it and he quit that that year. He said the nightmare still hasn't stopped. He still hasn't forgiven himself and therapy helps, but it's still a living nightmare to have those memories. And I guess that shit just shocked me so much because when it came to firefighters, I never thought of them like that. Like when it came to like police officers, lawyers and judges and everybody else, we knew they didn't give a fuck, especially police officers. We knew they didn't give a fuck about us, but I don't know why that didn't click to me that no it was everybody that hated us everybody everybody had a hand in deliberately making our lives worse but when i calmed down from being mad enough to want to pull the plug on his ass i thought about it i thought about it and i was like of course they did this of course of course they did this shit Duh, like, why was I even shocked? Like, I, of course. But it is something that I cannot think about for too long because that visual of you fake going to save somebody and not saving them because of the color of their skin and the entire 911 understanding because, oh, yeah, you couldn't get Jamal. <laughs> oh, well, just another one gone. Like, that, that shit, I don't know.